I was the youngest of ten. And now my father was a very strict man. I never caught it. I never had a young man. I was never allowed out. But he'd get me between his knees and he'd say, come here. You're the youngest of ten. Five girls and five dogs, but they're all married. But I want you to listen to me. I want to warn you when you grow up, the songs that I'm learning you will be true when you grow up and take warning by them. My father, when you get married, he said, and you have any children, more so sons, don't do what this woman's done when I'm going to sing to you. And that song then, that's my father's been there 25 years, that song then was a hundred year old. See? And now he said, now what, when he did say it, I, there was a lady that lived in York, that was she, that was the woman. If I had children, I should be kind to them and don't do what that cruel mother done. That's the way he put it, see? Well, that's how my father told me. The was a lady that lived in York all alone and alone you. She proved a child be her own father's clock down by a green wood side you. As she was a walking down her father's lawn, all alone and alone, oh, she thought three times that her back would be broke. Down by a green wood side, oh, as she was a walking. Down a father's lawn, all alone and alone, oh, she said, Honorable Mary, pity me. Down by a green wood side, oh, as she was a walking down a father's lawn, all alone. And alone, oh, there are three fine sons they were born down by a green wood side, oh. She pulled out a long pen knife all alone and alone, oh, and there she took away their three lives down by a green wood side years went by and one summer's morn all alone and alone she saw three boys they were playing bat and ball down by a green wood side, oh. oh, my fine boys, if you were mine, all alone and alone, oh. sure I dress you up in silk so fine. Down by a green wood side, oh. oh, mother dear, when we were yours, all alone and alone, oh. you did not dress us in silk so fine, down by a green wood side, oh. You pulled out your long pen knife all alone and alone, oh, and there you took away our 
three lives down by a green woodside. Oh, oh my fine boys, what will become of me? All alone and alone, oh, you'll be seven long years a bird in a tree down by a green wood side oh, you'll be seven years more a tongue in a bell all alone and alone oh, and you'll be seven long years a porter in hell down by a green wood side oh. I wish, I wish, but it's all in vain. I wish I were a maid again. A maid again, I never will be. Till apple grows on a orange tree. I wish my baby it was born and smiling on its papa's knee. And I to be in yon churchyard with long green grass growing over me. <clears throat> when my apron strings on low, he followed me through frost and snow. But now my apron to my chin, he passes by and says nothing. Oh, grief, oh, grief, I'll tell you why. That girl has more gold than I. More gold than I and beauty fame. But she will go. There was a squire in Hamburg lived, and a squire of a high degree. He came to court a country girl, and a comely maid was she. When a father came to hear of it, oh, an angry man was he. He requested of his daughter dear, for to shun his company. Now there was a farmer lived in the east and he had one only son. He came to court this country girl until he had a one. He got consent from a father and mother, from old and young likewise. But still she cries, I am undone, whilst the tears roll from her eyes. She sent her love a letter and she sealed it with her hand. Say, my dearest dear, I am going to be wed unto a farmer's son. Oh, the very first line that he read of it, he smiled and this did say, Oh, I will deprive him of his bride all on his wedding day. He sent her back an answer to be sure and dress in green, and a suit of the same he would put on the wedding to prepare. Then he looked east and he looked west, he looked all round his land. 
he mounted eight score of his men unto the cottage clan. He mounted them all with a milk-white steed, and an angry man rode he. And away, away to him, but I went with his company dressed in green. Oh, you are welcome here, you are welcome here, where have you been all day? And who are all those gentlemen that are riding out this way? He laughed at her, he scoffed at them, he smiled and this did say. Oh, there may have been some very jolly troops that would ride out today. Then up spoke the intended groom, and an angry man was he. If it is for fight that you've came here, well, I am the man for thee. Oh, it's not for fight that I've came here, but friendship for to show. Saying, give me one kiss from your bonny lips, and away from you I'll go. He caught hold of a lily white hand around the middle so small. He brought her out of the wedding house without the leaf of all. He brought her out of the wedding house without the leaf of me. And away, away to him, but I went with his company dressed in green. My father come from County Roscommon Island. Mm -hmm. I was being the youngest, he was very strict with me, and he used to say when I come out of school, I say to him, Dad, I've been learning a song about uh, the farmer uh, all the day long in the cornfield so weary, father is tired of the heat of the sun. I was telling my father this, then my father say, I know so much like that. Come here, and he get me between his legs, and he starts. And he lent me all the songs as he knew while he lived in Ireland. And the other, as I grew older, I never forgot them. And as I got older, the first time my baby could walk me feet, oldest I started. He's 60. And I kept on with every one I've had. Well, I was a sit and tell these children all what I went through when they were little. And then again, they'd say, come from school, and they'd say, tell us another song to what your father loves to lay. And I learnt them, see. You young and old, I now make bold. I'll hope you lend an ear, for it is as cruel a murder. As ever you did, yeah. It's all about a young fair girl. Her age was scarce sixteen. A beauty bright was my delight till Saturn tempted me. Now this girl, she been a servant girl. And I, a farmer's son, and from the county of Wexford, convenient to time on, I courted her in private, till I got her beguiled, and then to take a precious life I planted in my mind. So I sent for her one evening, and soon she came to me. I said, dear Jane, now don't complain, but to Wexford we will go. I said, dear Jane, now don't complain, to Wexford we will go, and there we will get married and I'm sure no one will know. So it been so late, they both stepped out across the country. 
It won't draw tears down from your eyes, the talk she said to me. I told her I was going to murder her, and this I made reply, saying, Jane O'Reilly, you must go, for it's here you've got to die. Oh, James, look on your infant dear, and do spare me my life, and don't commit a murder such a dark and dreary night. For to God I'll promise on my knees, if you'll spare me my life, I'll never go nor bother you nor ask to be your wife. But all she said, it was in vain, and he gave her a mortal blow. With his heavy loaded whip, he left her in a go. Her blood and brain, they flew like rains. Her moans would pierce your heart. I thought I had her murdered before I did depart. But she'd been alive next morning, just by the break of day. There was a shepherd's daughter that came along that way. She saw the girl lying her blood and drew to every leaf, saying I was murdered here last night. Will you bring me the priest? Now the priest and doctor was sent for, likewise the police at large. They soon got information when she had told my name. They soon got information when she had told my name and I was bound a prisoner and locked in Wexford jail. So me name it is James Brennan and me life I now must part for the murder of young Jane Riley. I'm sorry to the heart. I hope the Lord will pardon me all on my judgment day. And when I'm on my dismal track, good Christians for me pray. Of the pretty fair maid that you may understand, a mind was bound for rambling unto a foreign land. She dressed herself in sailor's clothes as plainly does appear, and she hired with the captain to serve him for one year. Now the maid she'd been so active and she done her duty well. Now Mark would fall as after the maid herself can tell it was eighteen captain biscuits a caller did destroy all the waste it's well of pretty nil the handsome cabin boy he's gone I am now sad and lonely He's left me to cross the deep sea. I know that he thinks of me only and will soon be returning to me. My eyes, they are filled devotion for my husband he 
said he would be Blow gently the winds on the ocean And send back my journey to me Each night as I lie on my pillow My bosom it heaves with a sigh I think of each angry willow And I'm watching the clouds in the sky some say that my love is returning to his own native country and me so blow gently the winds on the ocean and send back my journey to me. He's gone for his fortune to better. I know that he's gone for my sake. I'll soon be receiving a letter. Or else my poor heart it will break. Some say that my love is returning to his own native country and me. So blow gently the winds on the ocean and send back my journey to me. There was a rat that lived in a well. I oh, ransom did it um, and a merry mouse in the mill rattled the umbo dairy. Oh, lady mouse, are you within? I oh ransom did it um oh yes kind sir I'm learning to spin rattle the umbo dairy oh lady mouse will you be wed I oh ransom did it um oh when will you lose your maiden head rattle the umbo dairy oh master rat is not at home. I oh ransom did it um, and I mustn't wed until he comes home. Rattle the umbo dairy. <laughs> you like that? You remember Aunt Celia singing that? Yes, she was an old. I'm, I'm named after. Yeah, go on, go on. I'm named after. Yeah. I'm named after, and um, she was eighty-six. And she used to sit on the side of the chair and she'd be singing this and I used to laugh me eye out at her, <laughs> see. And I was to say, why did the why did the rat want to go to the why what did they want to go to the house for? And she said, Oh, you'll know when you go to, to be married. You'll know. You young men and maidens I pray listen for to hear the sad tale of two lovers so dear she was charming young Betsy of the Town Bray and the Lord of the Poland that led her astray. One more. 
one night as this young man he lay down for to sleep pretty betsy came to him and over him did weep saying you are that young man that has caused me to roam far far from my friends and my own native home and my sprinkling red cheeks they are molding away and i'm watching the image of valentine bray he rose from his slumber like a man in surprise ah oh, that is the voice of my betsy cry and if she is dead which a voice seems to say i will lie by her side in sweet valentine bray then he called for his servants to saddle the over hills and great mountains he went with quick speed until he had arrived by the noon time of day to the cot of young betsy of bellantown bray betsy's old father stood at his own gates like a man quite forlorn and bewailed in his fate when the young lord advanced and to him did say i pray will you tell me the cause of your grief well i had but one daughter this old man did say but now she lies low in sweet valentine bray all through a fault lover that caused her to roam far far from her friends and her own native home well i am that young man this young lord replied i certainly vowed i would make her my bride it is then from a scabbard a short story drew and with the sharp end he did pierce his breast through and when he was a dying these words he did say lie me down with sweet betsy of bellantown bray and when he was a dying these words he did say lie me down with sweet betsy of bellantown bray bye
my mother, God bless her. If I could have left school at 12 to go to work, to get some bread. But my mother got me a job, screws. Screws, as you... Well, now, it's a very hard life. When you went to school, and you go into a lot, a great big factory, where there's wheels going round. There's wheels going this way, others coming this way, and they were unnoticed, no laughing or singing or nothing like that, because you might cut yourself, see? A factor with the ordinary screws, the screws that what you put in the door. But so I'd start off myself with all the songs, and all the girls, all the girls then, and we, at least they didn't move from the work, see? They're, they're, and they'd come over, and the gaffer would come up and he'd say, Now then, what's the matter? What's the matter? And they'd run to work, because I'd times as hard then. And he'd been on the stairs to listening to me. See, that was a singing. And when he got them all to work, he says to me, Where did you learn that? Well, I think it was about 16. Where did you learn that song from? Oh, I said, uh, I did my father and mother telling me stories about bad days and of course they knew it and they learnt it me. Well, I don't want no singing here, they will never do no work. But come on, come into the office and let me see if I can hear it. Yes? Well, now I was shy. See, I was shy, I was young. And when I sat down, I was blushed and said, you needn't go red. I liked that song very well. That's a long, long while ago, I was 16. And then again, <coughs> when I did sing it, he said, oh, I would love my wife to hear that. And I thought to myself, well, you ain't going to get me to your wife. I thought to myself, so I said, oh, it's ever so old. He said, well, yes, it is. It is old, but it's a beautiful song and a warning. Well, you were. Well. It ails, it rains in merry Scotland. It ails all over the sea. When all the children in the town they like to play at ball, they throw the ball so high and so low they throw it into the air they throw it into the dew's garden the dew we lay below he shot him an apple as green as grass he shot him a prettier thing he shot him a cherry as red as blood until he chased him in. He laid him in a chair of gold till he went fast asleep. He laid him on the Jew's board and stabbed him like a sheep. For I am a maid that's deep in love, and I dare not once complain, for I'm in search of my true love, and Johnny is his name. Inquiring for the captain, my passage to go free, that I might find the lad I love while crossing the deep blue sea. Well, the ship it went on gaily, and the winds it did blow fair. And when I reached Columbus shore, no danger did I fear. 
It is once I was a man on sea, but a maid I am on shore. So a do a do, see Captain Bold, a do for evermore. Oh, come back, come back, my pretty Molly. Won't you come and marry me? I have a handsome fortune and all I'll give to thee. Oh, it's once I had my own true love and Johnny was his name. And until I find that lad I love, I live and I am made. Write me down the powers above that first created a man to love. For I have a diamond in my eye Where all my joy and fancy lies Now I'd give her gold and I'd give her pearls If only she'd fancy to be my dear And all such costly robes she'd wear If only she'd fancy to be my dear oh it's not your gold would mean twice to leave my friends for your advice i never intend to marry at all to be at any young man's call so we picked up his hat he was going away she say, don't go, young man, but stay, stay, oh stay. My heart is true, I never will wed a man but you. Many a time I sat on my love's knee, oh, a many a tale he told to me. He told me tales that never would be, oh, my fun in Villa Gorchland. Sure, 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 Villa Grad, there's no one to ease me of my woe. Since the lad I love from me did go, my burning Villa Gorchland. Oh, I'll die my petticoat, I'll die it red, and around the world I'll beg my bread. Since the lad I love from me has fled, oh, my varning villagoch lawn. Sure, 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 Villa Gra, there's no one to ease me of my woe. Since the lad I love from me did go, oh, my funny Villa Gorslan. I must be going, no longer staying. The burning Thames I have to cross. Oh, I must be guided without a stumble. 
in two the arms of my dear lass when he came to his true love's window he knelt down gently on a stone and it's through a pain he whispered slowly my dear girl are you alone she rose her head from her down soft pillow and snowy wear a milk white breast say who's there who's there at my bedroom window disturbing me from my long night's rest oh my me love don't discover i pray you rise love and let me in for i am fit to doubt my long night's journey Besides, I am wet into the skin. Now this young girl rose and put on her clothing till she quickly let her own true love in. Oh, they kissed, shook hands and embraced each other. Till that long night was near at an end. Willie, dear, oh dear, it's Willie. Where is that colour you'd some time ago? Oh, Mary, dear, the clay has changed me. I am but the ghost of your willio. Then no cock, go cock, oh, and some cockerel. I pray you not crow until it is day. For your wings I'll make of the very first beating gold. And your comb I will make of the silver ray. But the cock it crew, and it crew so fully. It crew three hours before it was day. And before it was day, my love had to go away. Not by the light of the moon, nor the light of day. When she saw red love disappearing, the tears down her pale cheeks in streams did flow. He said, weep no more for me. Me, dear Mary, I am no more your Willie-o. Then it's Willie, dear, oh dear, it's Willie. Whenever shall I see you again? When the fish they fly low and the seed runs dry love and the rocks they melt by the heat of the sun